like traumatized from getting my hair. Hold the phone. Do I do a pillow pumpkin? But I've been looking for the style of bomber and he didn't notice a thing. First time getting anything from American Eagle in years. You're not gonna learn unless you try and keep trying and practicing. We got packages, but I don't think that that surprises anyone. But we'll start out with a little unboxing in this vlog. Wow, it is dark. Turn you guys that way. That's better. I think it's also the shirts making it darker, but whatever. Got in a few things from Amazon. Oh, oh, these are really small. So I was on TikTok and I saw this girl post a video and there was a spider in her straw in her Stanley cup and I was like absolutely not. Immediately went on Amazon and ordered some straw covers but I made them festive and I got these little skull ones. How fun are these? I'm so excited. So we are not having a spider get into this one. I don't need one for this one because it's folded which is nice but for this one which is my main one at home because especially as we're getting into spider season we're just going to take the necessary precautions. I'm like, what color should I do? Should I match or should I like contrast with a fun color? Let's see here. I mean, this is very neutral. So should I go neutral and neutral and do the gray skull? I'm not a pink girl, so I don't wanna do the dark pink, but maybe the light pink might be fun. Okay, I'm actually feeling that. Or, oh, I kinda like this blue or this green. You know, I want the blue, but look how fun these are. So cute. So you just pop it over your straw and then you can just hang about and then when you're not drinking, you just pop this guy on. Like so. That's so fun. I'm very excited about this. Very happy that this means I will not find a spider in my straw because I would literally just pass away if that happened. Then in this package, I got more of these silicone ice cube trays for when I do my Fairlife ice cream that I struggled with so hard last night. By the way, I had an epiphany and I was like, why don't I like start, I mean, this is gonna use up more stuff, but I was like, why don't I start that in the blender, which is more powerful, and then once it gets to like, a pretty decent consistency then i can transfer it into the ninja top so it doesn't have to work as hard and then like i guess you can do the whole thing in the blender but i don't know how much air is going to get whipped into it if you use a blender versus the ninja chop it whips the right amount of air into it it's actually literally the same technology as the ninja creamy the only difference is that it's just not as powerful and it's not automized so it just takes a little bit more manual work but i'm thinking i might try that next time so <laughs> So it's not as difficult, but I got these silicone trays because it's so much easier to blend the frozen Fairlife when the pieces are smaller. So grabbed two of these for when I'm freezing the Fairlife to make that. Anything else in here? Oh, perfect. So I think it was the last vlog. You guys saw I got a pouch to go on my walking belt for Leo. It was like a vertical configuration and I just, I realized I do not like that. So I went back and I got the horizontal version. So utility one, it's just like a really big pouch. This one doesn't have like multiple compartments. It's just the one, but I really just need at least like one big one, you know? And then also what's cool is like, if I wanted to, I could hang stuff off of this, but I just needed to make sure it would have enough room to fit my phone and my keys and then like maybe a pepper spray or something. Just, you know, for safety when I'm walking Leo or maybe even some pet corrector. I'm going to pop this onto my walking belt before I walk him later. It's still a little warm right now, but I'll hang off just like that. Then last package, what is this? This is for me? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, it's slightly open. Well, that's, that bodes well. What the hell is this? Oh, are these new PJs? <laughs> I got more PJs. I know I need to stop, but I just, I can't. <laughs> this is from the brand Ekuwe, Ekuwer, Ekuwar. There's the name, just there it is. But this is similar in style to my favorite set, but it just has like a little lace trim on it. So I got it in this deep purple, because fall is coming up. Hi, you sniffing the PJs? Very pretty purple. That's got the little lace right here and then on the shorts, they've got the lace trim. So after I walk Leo and shower, I'll probably slip into this. Love a 
good new pair of PJs. But anyways, I just got back from the beach, as I'm sure you guys know, because I filmed some of the beach. It's a bit cooler today, temperature-wise, but the water at the beach was a little bit warm. I actually went in for a little while, which I rarely ever do. So it was definitely like a nice day at the beach. I was listening to my country playlist and listening to the waves. I always turn off the noise canceling on my headphones when I'm at the beach, because I do want to hear the waves. I usually have noise canceling on because I mainly use my headphones at the gym, but I just actually discovered that I could turn the noise canceling on and off. I never knew that. So so I've been making a habit to turn off when I'm at the beach just because I do want to hear the waves crashing in the background but it's definitely a nice very relaxing afternoon. Just jumped out of the shower and we're gonna use this Paula's Choice retinol that they sent me in the last vlog. I'm so excited to use this. I'm just like so happy in general that I have stuff from Paula's Choice. I've really been wanting to try out their stuff so this is exciting for me. Then here's what the bottle looks like. So this says to use three times per week and then you can gradually increase to every day but I probably won't ever do that just because I like to use my LED light therapy mask a few times a week and you're not supposed to use that when you're wearing a retinoid so I'll just probably alternate between this and that every other night but yeah this is the pro retinol to hide dual retinoid treatment so it's a little pumper bottle it says one to two pumps should do you the trick so ooh, one pump it's actually a lot so I'm just gonna go with that but also, I have a hive here. That's not a zit. I don't know why I have one random hive on my face, but I'm not seeing it anywhere else. So I think that we should be all good. And of course, your guys' battery is dying. Why does it always want to die when I have you guys in the bathroom? We're back. But a little quick bit of girl talk. So I am on my period right now. And this is the first like full period where I'm using my menstrual disc. If you guys remember last month, I got it towards the end of my period. So I was just using it once my period had lightened up. But oh my god, you guys. I am... 100% a menstrual disc convert. I love it. Like I keep forgetting that I'm even on my period. It's so nice because you just have to like empty it twice a day. So it's just so much easier. It's very comfortable. You just like forget you're wearing it. It's amazing. So yeah, just wanted to give that little PSA if you've been curious about them. Definitely check one out. Oh my gosh, Trevor's TV is so loud. But just finishing up with my lash serum, I swear to God. It's so annoying to like grow your lashes out after you've stopped using a lash serum for so long and then now like have to restart. It's so annoying, but okay. I have the new PJs on. I'll show you guys what they look like on. Super quick pajama check because I grabbed the wrong battery. So this is still dying, but it's cute. I like it and the color is so fun. And then the black lace is a nice touch. I get a medium in the set just for reference, but I'll link it in the description below. Got lemon pesto pasta mint. Unfortunately, I didn't have any fresh parsley. Usually, it's got a little bit of bright green in there, but it's all good. I did have frozen parsley, so I used that. So I'll get the flavor, just not the appearance. Whoa. Okay, the this is a new Parmesan tub. It freaked me out. Look at this. The shredded Parmesan, they're like curled. Like, can you guys see that? Like these ones right there it just freaked me out because usually it's straight you know so i was like are these worms for a second <laughs> but no just curly parmesan this is throwing me so off the whole tub is like this anyways it'll still taste the same absolutely delicious hello and good morning i just took leo out to potty and i'm heading out because i have a pilates class just grabbing a crunch bar i thought i had gotten more peanut butter i just have Triple chocolate. I could have sworn I got another peanut butter. I just probably would have needed to dig for it. Here is the workout set that I have on. It's so cute. It's the one that I unboxed from TikTok shop. It's like a tank top sports bra, so you can like actually kind of wear it so it almost looks connected like a romper, or you can do a little bit of separation. Since I'm about to work out, I know that it's probably gonna naturally separate, so I just went ahead and left it. And then it comes with matching shorts, and these shorts are actually really nice they're like really tummy tuck when i first got this set in i was like i don't know about wearing this out and about i was like i feel like i'm gonna look squeezed but it actually like shapes and fits really really well i like it a lot here's what it looks like from the back it's very simple but it works it's very cute and then also too i love the navy color this is just like a perfect little set for pilates but i'm packing my purse this little green one into my gym bag slash pilates bag because after pilates i'm gonna go get my hair done which i'm excited about all right bye bud love you stay out of trouble 
feel like I'm trying to do like 50 things at once right now. But, ooh, it's dark. There we go. But I'm gonna go get my hair done and I'm gonna switch up the color a little bit. Gonna do a little fall action. I've just been feeling like I wanted to do a little something different with this hair. So gonna be blonde, obviously, because no way in hell I'm not. And then I'm also gonna get a haircut. I talked about it in a previous vlog, but I just really need to get my hair cut. I haven't really been happy with it, especially the ends. They're just feeling really, really rough. So it's time, I need to cut some of it off. I'm not gonna go too short, cause I like my hair long. Cutting my hair also gives me anxiety. I've talked about this before. I'm like traumatized from cutting my hair. It's still gonna be long, but I'll put a photo on the screen of what I'm thinking for the cut. I want something with just a little bit more shape, and then I wanna do some like, longer pieces almost like longer bangs that can kind of like hang forward and then for the color like i said still blonde but we are going to give it some dimension and go a little bit darker i want to bring in some like contrasting pieces maybe put in some low lights and then do a little bit more of a root smudge so that it's a little bit deeper towards my scalp and i just thought it would be a nice change for fall go a little bit darker but obviously still keep me blonde and also too the maintenance on it is going to be a little bit less i can probably go a little bit longer in between my sessions because of like the root smudge and everything it'll be able to just kind of like grow out for a while i might be able to switch to doing like two minis and then going in for like a full touch up so that'll be nice mm. i would love it if they came out with a pumpkin one for fall that would be pretty sick but i don't know about you guys i for some reason this year i'm just feeling like getting into fall a little bit earlier i mean don't get me wrong i love summer summer's my favorite i even said i'm gonna continue to lay out probably into september and do like my beach days and stuff but i'm also at the same time craving like pumpkin things i want to go fall decor shopping maybe we'll do that after i get my hair done and stop by home goods and at home yeah let's do that for sure Ooh, i should also get a pumpkin cream cold brew I, you know, I actually, I should because I do need a snack to tide me over in between Pilates and getting my hair done because getting my hair done is going to take a while. So definitely should stop by Starbucks and get a pumpkin cream cold brew and then go look at fall decor. I love it. Okay, perfect plan for today. But for some reason, I'm just feeling like doing some fall things earlier this year, but I still like also want to enjoy summer. So right now I feel like I'm in this weird state where you'll probably find me with like a pumpkin cream cold brew at the beach. You know, like I'm just combining seasons right now. It's just what's happening. <laughs> hair is done i don't think you guys can see the color very well in here i'll show you guys the color when we get out of the car but here's the cut we got these little pieces here on the front lots of layers and then we did chop off like a good inch and a half probably close to two inches it was so sad to lose the length, but it had to be done. But my hair just feels so much healthier. It doesn't feel crunchy down here anymore. So like I said, it just, it had to happen. But yeah, I really love this cut with like these pieces. So cute. If I put my hair up loosely, we got, oh, cute. Love it. But we're at Home Goods right now. And then also because... I wasn't doing like a full head of bleach. Saved a little bit of money on the hair. Like we had some bleach going on in here, but most of the other foils were actually dye because we did low lights. Again, I'll show you guys better when we get out of the car for better lighting, but saved a little bit, even with a haircut. So we got a little bit more budget to play with. I'm not trying to get a ton of stuff for fall decor. I have a pretty good fall decor collection going on and it's not like I want to like throw up fall all over our place. I just like to do touches of fall so I don't want to do too much but I am down to like replace some of the decor that I have because like I've had that collection for a while. Definitely want to get a new pumpkin. I always get a new pumpkin every year but yeah we're gonna be here at home goods and then I think I'll also do at home since it's just like right over there. Let's go shopping. I meant to bring a t-shirt to like throw over my Pilates outfit because it's so tiny, but I forgot. 
got it. Like I had it, it was next to my bag and I forgot to like grab it when I headed out the door. So I'm a little uncomfortable right now, but you know, whatever. It's really, really hot right now. So I think it's justified. Here's a little bit better of a look at the hair. I'll show you guys from the side here. You guys, since we melted some low lights in. Okay, the wind's blowing it. I hope you guys can see. Although the wind might be helping because it's separating it out more so you guys can see a little bit more of the dimension. But yeah, basically we did a root melt. We left my roots, but just did like some dye to melt them into the blonde and it brought the blonde down lower and then wove some low lights throughout in here just to give it more dimension and give it a little bit more depth for fall. But yeah, I'm really liking it. And then I'm a big fan of the cut. Absolutely love it. Saturday, so I'm a little bit terrified how this is gonna go. I shouldn't go into purses, but I wanna look because I want a hobo bag. Ooh. <gasps> no, but okay, so like I want this, but like in a darker green or a brown. This is cute. Came here for decor and I'm looking at bags. Oh, and this leather, this is nice. I have one safe on Amazon that I wanna get, but I'm just seeing if they have anything here that like. I want more. A couple more hobos here, but I don't like the color on these. Although this color is kind of pretty. Yeah, if these, like this one or this one. By the way, this is like a muted sage green. It looks gray on camera. But yeah, if this one or this one, which is actually a bit brighter than it's coming out on camera, but if they came in like a darker, like more olive or army green, I would buy it immediately. But it's just slightly off from what I'm looking for. Oh, this is so cute. I love this color. Do I do like pumpkin cookie jars? These are adorable. We found some pumpkins. That's kind of a cool one, but it doesn't go with my stuff. And then I don't typically do orange. Oh, that's really interesting. I like the colors on this. Shoot, do I want this one? How much? 14, that's not bad. Okay, I'm gonna think about it. I'll come back. I'm in the candles, but I remember, the oh, they have sand and paws, but I'm not seeing any fall sand and paws candles. Oh, bobbing for apples. I mean, that sounds pretty fall. It's small. Mmm, it's a big boy too. Look at that. Hold on, we found pumpkin spice in sand and paws. Mmm, is that two pumpkins? I don't like that this is pink, but... Ooh, that smells so good. Honey crisp harvest. I really wish it was a different color though. I don't want pink. Pumpkin chai latte. Little ghost dog on the top. Ooh, do I like this or do I like the other pumpkin one? Oh no, this was bobbing apples. This one's scary sweet. Ugh. Nope. There's someone standing next to me the whole time I was doing that. I was so embarrassed. Still get oh pumpkin and vanilla. But yeah, still get a mirror stuff. <laughs> Hard not to. Oh, do I do this one? And pumpkin to latte. I think that's where the pumpkin ones go. Pumpkin and vanilla. Yes, I like that. It's not too pumpkin-y. It's not too sweet. And then, I saw this one, chestnut sugar, which I feel like could continue to carry into the holidays. I'll just take that part off, but... Oh my god, that smells so good. Okay, I'm gonna go with these two. Yes. Oh. And just in case anyone's wondering, I specifically only shop these because the ingredients and materials used in them are pet friendly. Hold on, I just saw this one too. It's Autumn Harvest. And you can repurpose it. Not me spending a fortune on candles. Oh my god, there's apple cider. Is this sand and paws? I have candles. What am I doing? Do I want this one? I just like the bone, but it doesn't really smell. Okay. I think three candles is enough. But no one's telling me, but I don't like this top. So I'm gonna swap it with this guy because I love it. There's already Thanksgiving stuff out. That's crazy. You guys, this is a little brie cheese thing. And it's a ghost. I'm dying. I feel like the pumpkin selection here is really weak. I almost thought that I wouldn't have to go to at home, but I think I have to. Or come back here like a little bit later and see if they get more pumpkins in. Usually they have like the best pumpkin selection. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of disappointed in the fall selection, but maybe I'm just too early. But I want this early because most years I'm too late and everything's picked over. So I'm like, do I come back? Oh wow, hello Halloween. <gasps> more pumpkins, wait a second, that's where they are. <gasps> Here we go. Hold the phone. Do I do a pillow pumpkin this year? Is Leo gonna eat this? Quite possibly. Shit, I really wanna do one, but oh, he might eat it. 
Look at this one. Oh, I just have to train them all too. I'm leaning towards a pillow pumpkin. I really am because I have a lot of glass pumpkins, but like this is at least different. But like which one do I go with? Like the fuzzies or like a knit one? No, hmm. Or like one of the, I'm like I'm leaning towards one of these two, which is the texture he's of course most likely to want to chew. I'm taking a big gamble right now. This herringbone one's really cute. He might not chew this one, but I really want a fuzzy. <sighs> what do I do? I'm gonna sweep all of the glass and ceramic pumpkins first before I decide on a pillow one. See if there's any that catch my eye. Oh, that's it. Just kidding. Wait. This one. Like, I have something kind of like it, but it's like thinner and taller, and this one's shorter and fatter. Or is that enough on the glass pumpkins? Also, I picked up this acorn. This is so cute. It rests like this. I literally cannot think of anywhere else that we could put a glass pumpkin. Like, it's so full. So we're gonna go... <laughs> Shit. We're gonna go with one of these stuffed pumpkins. I need to decide which one, but... I mean, Leo doesn't chew or pillows on the couch. So maybe he'll understand he can't chew the pumpkin. I don't know. I don't know. I love him, but I don't trust him. Like I really lean towards this one. So I like the texture, but like, this is the one he's most likely to chew. Ooh, they have a gourd. <laughs> so fun. It's between these two. You know what? I'm gonna get the one that I want and we will train Leo accordingly. I have to go get a cart. I cannot carry all of that. Actually, this will work. That way I don't get encouraged to add anything else. Okay, good. No one took my stash. So this is already enough damage. Let's not go to at home. Oh god, please don't fall. Perfect. And that leaves one arm free to go look at the dog stuff. Wait, there are more pumpkins on the other side. <laughs> I mean, the only one I kind of like is this one, but I don't like the green on it. I don't want any green. Like, if that didn't have it, I would swap it, but no, I'm good. Oh my god, look at these giant stuffed toys. Trevor's gonna get so mad. Oh my god, this thing is back? Okay, this... If you saw my TikTok from last year, this is inappropriate. <laughs> like, this? <laughs> That's inappropriate. I want to get him this octopus. I wish it came in blue, but it's fine. Because dogs can see blue. He's going to see this as yellow. It's going to blend into everything else, but whatever. I want to get him this, but the squeaker on it. Oh, now it's not squeaking. That's going to freak him out. He has another toy that makes this noise, and he does not like it. But I know he'll love to play tug of war with the arm. Oh. The arms have squeakers. What's this blue one? Oh, my God. Yeah, the seahorse. Oh, that's cheap. Maybe this one because. Oh, yeah. He will love this. And it's blue. You can see it very well. Found the octopus in this like light purple. I want to see what it looks like to him. If you guys are ever curious about doing this for your dog, I use TikTok, the dog vision filter. Oh, you guys can see it. I look yellow. Flip it around. Okay. I mean, it just like that's so much better. Do you see that? That's why I like gravitated towards that for him. And then also I grabbed this little monster for him. There it is, so you guys can see it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with these two that I already grabbed. They stand out better than this guy. I mean, you can see this guy, but I was like, I know how like to pull on the arms. That's why I'm like gravitating towards the octopus. I just don't know. I decided he's really gonna hate the noise that the top of the octopus makes because he hates it on his other toys, so we're gonna stick with the ones that I already grabbed. Okay, absolutely not. Why? Damn it, this caught my eye. I actually really, really like this. Shit. Damn it, I really like it. I kind of wish they had a large, this is a medium, but I've been looking for the style of Palmer with just like a bunch of just, you know, stuff on it and I love Basquiat. I have a lot of like his collab clothing. It's only 30. Screw it. I'm gonna get it. Yeah, sure. Come on, come on, please. Okay, so that was a little, a little bit out of budget. I thought I would spend like 50 bucks max today. To be fair, I did not account for getting a jacket when I set that goal budget for myself. So I'm gonna justify it that way. Everything came out to 102. My bad. But anyways, Little quick haul. I mean, you guys saw me pick most of these, so I'm not going. Oh, there's another, ooh, there's another squeaker there. I'm not gonna have this take too long, but we got Leo's. I think that this is, is this a snake or is this a, 
seahorse. I think, I think it's just a squiggly snake, but it's like in the shape of a seahorse, you know? His blue whale, that's like the same type of toy as his red squid, that one is falling apart. And then the corn, again, same type of toy. The corn isn't even squeaking anymore and it's lost like 80% of its stuffing. So we're gonna throw those two out. So these are to replace them. But I got him a little Halloween themed monster. Kind of reminds me of Mike Wazowski, but slightly off, you know? They put it slightly off so they can get away without having to pay for licensing. But he has like a creepy toy and then he's got a few, this one squeaker, yeah, this one squeaker. But it's crinkly, pretty fun. Then I hope that this doesn't turn into a toy for him, but the fuzzy pumpkin, I'm excited that I got this. I'm very happy I did it instead of a ceramic or a glass pumpkin. I have so many of those, there was no need to get another one. And then we also got, the jacket, you guys saw me try this on, not gonna bother, but I will show you the back. That's what it looks like on the back. But yeah, I really like, I don't know what it is. I really gravitate towards Basquiat. But anyways, this is Jean Michelle Basquiat collab with members only. So just a nice lightweight bomber. But like I said, I've been wanting ones that like have that where it's like different little either decals or like drawings like that on it. So that's the first bag. I got a bunch of candles. We went through those, I'm not gonna go through that. And then my little acorn, which rests like this, but I did enough damage, so we are not going at home. We're gonna reel it in, reel it in. And I'm just gonna go ahead and head home, I think. You guys can't tell, I'm in a shopping mood. I think my American Eagle order came in today. I got barrel jeans. I've never gone to barrel jeans and I kept saying that I wasn't gonna get into that trend, but the ones at American Eagle, I actually really liked. I mean, I saw them online, we'll see how they look when I try them on. But I've been wanting to get American Eagle jeans and then their barrel jeans were actually really cute. They're not like overly exaggerated like a lot of people's barrel jeans are. They just kind of look like baggy jeans but slightly taper in. So yeah, I ordered a pair of those and what I like about American Eagle is that their jeans come in a short length which chef's kiss for us short girls but i've never had any american eagle jeans i don't think i've ever had any like not even when i was younger when american eagle was like really really popular so we'll see how they fit and then i also ordered a couple other things with it but i'm gonna go home try everything on really quick and then i have some plans that i need to get to for the rest of the afternoon and then depending when that gets done we might go see my family tonight they're gathering again at my cousin's place at my aunt's house which i guess is, is now her house. Anyways, they're gathering there today and I told them maybe it just depends on what time I get done with my plans this afternoon. But before we head out, I'm gonna open up the American Eagle order. I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging on that. There was a fucking spider on our door. Do not take the pumpkin, I swear to God. No, no, leave it. Good boy. You can have this, though. Leave it. You can have these, this is all yours, yeah. That's a yes, the pumpkin's a no, okay? <laughs> all right. Leo, what's this one? What's this one? Oh. Well, someone is very happy right now. Oh my goodness, do you have new toys? Cause you're spoiled? Yeah? And while he's not looking, I'm gonna settle him. Like that way. Right? Put the pumpkin in here. Where is the whale? Distraction. And he didn't notice a thing. Yes, I still haven't put this laundry away. <laughs> I'm being so lazy about it. But I'm just gonna wear this for what I'm doing. I'm essentially doing a second workout. Before we go, oh crap, I'm gonna try these on. Or I might at least try the jeans on over the shorts. But American Eagle, first time getting anything from American Eagle in years, but first time ever getting their denim. Hopefully the denim will work. But the first item I got, ooh, this is so soft. Stop. Oh, it is super soft. Oh my God. I got this gray v-neck tee and it's got a little scrunch right here in the center. I've been wanting a top that has something like this. Last year Old Navy had a bunch of these in like a long sleeve and I loved them and I wanted them but they were sold out but I thought that this would be cute for a little fall transition moment. I got these 
shorts. So I want, oh shoot, should I have gone one size down? I went by American Eagle sizing chart. According to their sizing chart, they run a little bit small. So typically in bottoms, I'm a six or an eight, but according to their sizing chart, I was a 10. So I went with a 10 on both bottoms. I'm hoping that they'll be fine. Both of these I did prefer if they fit a little bit more loose anyways. I feel like the 10 was probably the right way to go, but yeah, I just thought that these would be cute dress shorts for fall. I love a good pair of trouser shorts, so. Oh yeah, we've got some room because I also have shorts on underneath this. Like, should I get the eight? You know, actually I like the 10 because then they can, oh God, they can really slap. Shoot, should I go back and get the eight? I don't know, but oh, I like this. You can do a little low waist action with a cute little crop. Oh, that would be adorable. Okay, we'll keep the 10. I should have gone with my instinct and stuck with the eights, but it's not so much that I want to return it. Also, this is stretched that too. That's probably why. Yeah, it's not so much that I would return it. I just, we'll see how 75 soft goes. Maybe I'll need to get a second pair. But I do, like I said, I did want it to be slouchy, so that worked. Oh, I didn't realize that these were a raw edge hem. I'm not mad at it, I just didn't realize it. But here are the barrel jeans. Do you see how, like, they're not exaggerated. I liked that. I hate the ones that are, like, extra wide and super exaggerated. I just think that they look cartoonish, in my opinion. But I believe these are low rise, but you guys know the definition of low rise these days. It's not the low that we knew. Yeah, I got a 10 also. And like on this one, I did know that I want, oh no, this is a mid rise. But I did know that I wanted to size up on this because I wanted them to be baggy and slouchy. Like, let me tuck the shorts down a little bit so you guys can see the vision. Oh, these are so cute. Okay, oh, oh, we got a suckler. But I am feeling these barrel jeans. I like these a lot. I'm into it. Perfect. Anyways, that's my American Eagle haul. Probably if we go to see my family tonight, I'll probably put together an outfit from some of these pieces that I got today. But I have a little bit of time, so I'm gonna grab a snack and hang with Leo for a bit. Luckily, Trevor's home. I think he's napping right now. So I don't feel as bad about like coming home and then leaving right away, but I do wanna hang out with Leo for just like a little bit. We have had our first casualty. Got the jeans on and then for shoes and my bravadas, Aritzia tank top. I love these, they're like double lined. And shaping. Then I'm just gonna grab my jacket in case it gets a little chilly because it's actually been getting a little bit cool lately. Okay, all right, we're, we're heading out. Almost in the grave, got a hand it to you. Got me stumbling hard, I got the sinking feeling that you let leading me on. I don't mind it, kinda like it, kinda like it. She got me entangled, faking me like rain girl. Dancing like it's tango, I'm in over my head. Over my head, she got me entangled, faking me like Rango, dancing like it's tango. I'm in over my head, over my head, over my head. Pull me closer now, pull me closer now, pull me closer now. Just got dressed. Trevor and I are gonna go to dinner in a couple of hours, but dressed up early just because I'm gonna be filming a video. Let me do a little quick outfit check. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. So I have this blue tube top that we all know and love, like this color. It's so good, but it comes in a ton of other colors. I just got it off of Amazon, I'll link it. It's so cute, such a good like go-to top. And then I have a pair of linen shorts. And this outfit was actually kind of inspired by a photo I saw on Pinterest, I think. But yeah, so I have linen shorts. I have this brown belt, a little bit of a Western feel to it. And then I have my white sandals. Then I'm gonna do this little teeny tiny straw bag. But I'm not done styling. I really wanna do like a layered necklace look. I feel like that whole layered look is coming back, but I've never been very good at it. I feel like every single time I've like combined necklaces into a stack, or at least the majority of the time, it just, it looks awkward to me. I don't know if it's just me being critical of myself or if it really is awkward, but I'm gonna attempt it again with this outfit just because it's a tube top. I've got a lot of necklines, so I have a lot of space to play with here. But I really feel like layering necklaces is an art that I just, haven't quite mastered like I'm not bad at it but I just like I definitely don't feel like my necklace layering has ever been like amazing or anything but we're gonna try you're not gonna learn unless you try and keep trying and practicing so I'm gonna grab a few so I have a stack of a few that I feel like are pretty safe for me to play with just to kind of like get my toes wet I'm back into it. I am going to refrain from using my Louis Vuitton lock necklace. I use that necklace all the time. 
I'm like, let's switch it up. I have so much jewelry. I actually have a lot of necklaces. I feel like I never wear any of them, so we're not gonna use it. We're gonna use other necklaces. I'm gonna lower you guys just a tad. I feel like the rules of the necklaces is like you need to layer different textures and then also have like the appropriate length on like the different like weights of the necklaces so i feel like the chunkiest one should typically be the longest just because i feel like it looks better for the heaviest to go on the bottom i don't think that that's true every single time i think once you're better at learning how to layer necklaces you can play around a little bit more but i feel like for beginner status heavy is on bottom so i have this one that's on this like big link chain and then it's a coin I got this from like one of those like random jewelry websites. I can't remember the name of it. And then I always wear this one. This is a teeny tiny dog tag that has Spartacus's name on it. I'm sure you guys can't even see it. Or it says Spart. Michelle got it for me and I like, I literally never take it off. So that's like the other challenge with layering necklaces now is that I always wear this one. So I have to be mindful of it, but I feel like this just covers it. So it just blends. And then I have two options for layer number two. So I could do my 1989 necklace like that. It's like got a little bit more detail. It's a little bit more of like an edgy style. Or I can do this like, the only thing this is that this isn't very long, but this like more delicate bar necklace. I don't know. Let me go ahead and layer the third layer. Okay, so I have two different options i wanted another texture so these are both i think they're technically called like these aren't cuban links are they are they snake no they're like snake they're not links but they're like a snake chain snake necklace whatever so two different weights i have the thicker one and this one's always been harder for me this one would need to be the shortest layer but this one's always been really hard for me to style i just feel like it's awkward I wouldn't do it with this one. I would probably do this one. Just have it sit right in between. See, I don't like that. I, I don't like this thick necklace. So let me try this one, the bar. Or should I grab a different one? No. Let's start here. Sorry if you guys hear the AC. I am roasting. I'm also trying to get the room as cool as possible before I start filming my sit-down video. I'm just going to put this one on because it's so short. I need to see the actual length of the bar that just sits right there. And then this, I'm going to have it go as short as possible. This is the smaller snake chain. It's like that. Should I do that? I mean, it's very delicate and simple, but I feel like it's a good beginner stack. Like this one, it's just, this bar one's just hitting at a weird spot. Or I feel like Maybe I do this one and then find something even shorter than it. I mean, technically I have four necklaces on. It's not three because I have the dog tag on. I would need whatever goes on the very inside to almost be like choker length. Not that one. I have this chain link one. I don't know how short this one gets though. No, it's the exact same length as this one. And I want something with a little bit more weight to it. Alright, you guys are dying, so I'm gonna keep playing with this and I'll show you guys what I end up with. This is where we settled. I just wish that I had something that was more of a choker length that had like a little pendant or something on it. I'm not mad at this stack. I like it. So I have the coin necklace on the thick chain, my 1989 necklace, and then the thinner snake chain. So we're gonna go with that. I'm gonna wear it with confidence. This is where we're having dinner tonight, the A in Crystal Cove. We saw it like a few months ago, just passing by, and it looks amazing. And actually, funny story, my hairdresser yesterday was talking about a restaurant, and she was talking about the A to a different client. So, she gave me some suggestions on what to order. Dancing like it's tango. I'm in over my head, over my head. She got me in tango. Faking me like rango, dancing like it's tango. I'm in over my head, over my head, over my head. Pull me closer now, pull me closer now, pull me closer now, pull me closer, pull me closer, pull me closer now, pull me closer now, pull me closer now, pull me. Over my head, 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 over my head